My name is Wayne Murray. I'm Director of Operations uh, for ONG Power and Energy Division. Um, I apologize for not having any slides. We've been traveling all week and didn't have a chance to put them together, but um, I'll try to uh, muddle my way through a uh, quick speech here. Um, my background has been in uh, the power industry for about 25 years. Um, a lot to do with uh, energy performance contracting. In fact, I worked with Frank Wallach for a number of years um, in a previous life and uh, built wind turbines and solar panels and gas turbines and geothermal and just about every form of technology there is around the world. Um, now ONG, everybody knows ONG, they've been around a long time, kind of a traditional uh, building contractor, started out as a, a road contractor back up in the, in the 20s. Uh, about seven or eight years ago, they decided to go into the power industry. And uh, what they've done since then is, uh, Doug wanted me to talk a little bit about what kind of technologies we see, kind of mainstream or, or what you typically see out there today. Um, and most of the, from what I know, most of the um, country's energy source comes from coal right now. We don't do any coal plants. Uh, most of what our experience has been is in gas turbines. Um, we've got a, uh, a project under construction in Middletown, Connecticut right now. It's a 620 megawatt combined cycle gas turbine plant. Uh, we just completed a 115 megawatt um, simple cycle gas turbine plant up in Braintree, Mass. And we just finished a 10 megawatt 475 impound steam plant up at UMass Amherst. Um, so these are the majority of the type of technology we see historically being put on the grid. Um, the technology used uh, for emissions control has been SCR, Selective Catalytic Reduction. Okay, and that's a process where, you, much like your catalytic converter in your car, you have your gas turbine or your or your reciprocating engine or whatever your prime mover is and the exhaust gas flows through a large duct where you inject ammonia, ammonium, oxygen, aqueous ammonia. It combines with a catalyst and converts the NOx to nitrogen. Um, that's what you see out there as far as your uh, typical technology for cleaning up the uh, emissions. Um, it's pretty well proven. I think over the 20, 20, you know, past 20 years, um, I've seen um, you know, basically black smoke coming out of a stack uh, where plants are burning number six heavy fuel oil uh, down to uh, very you know, clean burning solo NOx technology with gas turbines where NOx levels have come steadily down from 40 ppm to 20 ppm to 10 ppm and now the technology that's being used produces uh, NOx at about 2 ppm with ammonia slip between two and five ppm, CO about one and a half to two ppm. So relatively speaking, um, it's very, 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 very clean. Um, in some instances where we've built plants, uh, particularly in California, close to highways, we actually end up cleaning the air um, as far as particulates. So it's um, some interesting technologies that are out there. Um, Projects that we see in development, kind of uh, on the subject of renewable energy, we see bio, biomass coming up. We see some biomass projects, um, wood burners, manure burners, all sorts of good stuff. But it's, it's basically renewable. Um, they're massive projects, they're expensive projects, um, but uh, you know, at LNG, we don't, uh, you know, we just build them. We'll do EPC, we'll handle the whole engineering, procurement, and construction. But basically, we basically build what the owner wants. We don't, uh, we don't really dictate the technology. So, um, you know, we're, we're basically technology neutral, I guess you call it. Uh, so we see biomass coming up. We see more wind projects coming out in this area. Um, out west, we see geothermal, where you basically go down 5,000 feet and tap into the Earth's crust. And, uh, bring up steam and drive steam turbines. Uh, 
and that's about it. I guess that's about the current, um, current, you know, status of where we stand as far as what plants we're building right now. Cost-wise, um, you know, historically, uh, the gas turbine plants are anywhere from, you know, eight hundred dollars a kilowatt hour or kilowatt to, uh, you know, two thousand twenty-five hundred, depending on what the configuration of the plant is going to be and how complicated the controls. Um, and then up from there, depending on certain architectural aspects of the plant. But, uh, you know, a simple cycle, peaker plant, somewhere around $900 to $1,500 a kilowatt. Uh, 